The Lizard Peninsula, the UK's most southern point, is home to special ecosystems like this thriving heathland right outside the Goonhealy Satellite Earth Station. These heathlands and peat bogs are important habitats and carbon sinks, home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, as well as one plant with a peculiar way of eating. The round-leaved sundew, one of the few carnivorous plants native to the UK. Because they live in the heath's acidic soils, which are deficient in the nutrients that plants need, the sundew has adapted to survive by absorbing nutrients from living prey. The sundew entices prey twice its size with the sweet-smelling nectar produced by the sticky glands at the end of its tentacles. Insects become held fast by the sticky glands, the plants slowly encasing them in nectar, drowning them alive. The glands then expel an enzyme that slowly dissolves their tiny bodies, allowing the sundew to consume their flesh. This blue bottle fly is also on the lookout for food. Their preference is for nectar produced by plants that emit foul, rotting odors to attract them. But with short lifespans of only 22 days on average, and the need to find enough nutrients to reproduce, they can't be too picky. If they don't find enough nectar today, they could be dead in three days. It's late into the autumn, and the sundew needs one last meal to make it through the winter. But does it have enough sticky dew left? The fly appears to be unaffected by the sticky tentacles. The sundew has failed to catch its last meal. Hopefully, its previous meals will be enough to sustain it through the winter. Sundews slow their metabolisms to reduce their need for food and water, much like bears do when they go into hibernation. Allowing their leaves to shrivel and fall off, the only visible part of the sundew that remains is the bud at its center. If the sundew survives the winter, this bud will open and sprout new leaves in the spring.